on 95.4 FM in Slough, Windsor and Maidenhead and 104.1 FM in Reading, Bracknell, Wokingham, Newbury and your town or village in West Berkshire. This is a test transmission for BBC Radio Berkshire. The new BBC Local News and Information Service for the County of Berkshire is on air at 6.30am on Tuesday, January the 21st, 1992 on this frequency. Studios in Reading, Maidenhead, Bracknell, Slough, Wokingham and Newbury, BBC Radio Berkshire will offer a unique mix of local, national and international news, sport, weather and travel information for the county of Berkshire. This is a test transmission for BBC Radio Berkshire, broadcasting on 104.1 FM in West Berkshire, including Wokingham, Bracknell, Reading and Newbury, and on 95.4 FM in East Berkshire, covering Slough, Maidenhead and Windsor. BBC Radio Berkshire is on the air soon. With news or information for Berkshire, write to us at Broadcasting House, 42A Portman Road, Reading, RG3 1NB. That's Broadcasting House. 42A Portman Road, Reading, RG3, 1NB, or call us on 0734 567 056. That's 0734 567 056. <laughs> Hello, Terry Wogan here. On the 21st of January next year, BBC Radio Berkshire starts broadcasting. But for one day only, on November the 22nd, it'll be open for children in need. So you'll be able to join in all the fun of children in need on your own local station and help Radio Berkshire to raise money. That's BBC Radio Berkshire, open for one day only for children in need on November the 22nd. Don't miss it. <laughs> This is a test transmission for BBC Radio Berkshire. For one day only, Friday, November the 22nd, from midday to midnight, BBC Radio Berkshire will be on the air for children in need. Tune in on 95.4 FM in Slough, Maidenhead and Windsor, or on 104.1 FM in Wokingham, Bracknell, Reading, Newbury and your town or village in West Berkshire. The man responsible for Berkshire's new radio station is editor Simon Major. He's been here since day one, overseeing the multi-million pound project and preparing to bring BBC local radio to the county of Berkshire. I felt like a janitor when I first moved in here. It was an empty building. It had once been a print works on the Portman Road in Reading. It was echoey and these engineers turned up putting in miles of wire. We calculate that there are 1,300 miles of wire and cable have gone into this building, just disappeared in. And the equipment arrived, the engineers arrived, the architects, everything, and watching them collaborate was the most wonderful experience. And you're asked extraordinary questions because you're asked whereabouts do you want to put this particular button for the presenters when they come in? And you have to think about how people you've never met are going to react. Where would they like the button? And in fact, at that stage, we hadn't even recruited any of the producers or the journalists or the reporters. So we had to kind of make decisions for people who were going to come on in the months to come. But the best of all has been watching the programmes come together. I've got two hopes for the station. One, that it, it really is part of Berkshire in a very quick time, because we should be part of the community. We should be a mirror, a loudspeaker, a loud hailer, call it what you like, and I know that it sounds a bit hackneyed, but we really should be part of the Berkshire community, giving every day accurate news, information, details of what's going on in the county. The other thing we should be, all of us here working here, and indeed I hope many of the listeners, happy. <laughs> Thank you. 
on 104.1 FM in West Berkshire, including Newbury, Thatcham and Hungerford, on 104.4 FM in Reading and Wokingham, and in Slough, Maidenhead and Windsor at 95.4 FM. This is BBC Radio Berkshire, the radio service for the whole of the county. Good morning and welcome. I'm Howard Hughes. You're listening to Berkshire Today. It's Tuesday, January the 21st, 1992, and the time is half past six. Raiders have escaped with almost £5,000 in cash from a pub near Slough after clubbing the manager with a crowbar. BBC Radio Berkshire News, Tanya Shields reporting. Hello, good morning and welcome. This is Berkshire Today. I'm Howard Hughes. In the programme, home repossessions threaten a housing crisis in Slough. A job creation plan for Slough teenagers is attacked for ignoring ethnic minorities. The Employment Secretary comes to Berkshire and says the government is winning the fight for new jobs here. True grit, the gravel diggers threaten county homes and Berkshire's master winemaker corks his last vintage. All that and more, plus the latest weather, sport, farming, business and travel in the first edition of Berkshire Today. And the first thing we do is have a quick check on the weather forecast for today, Tuesday, January the 21st, 1992. Frosty at first, you can say that again, dry and mainly sunny but cold. The day's maximum temperature, 4 centigrade...